uh, I left England in 77 to come to New Zealand, and we didn't have email and stuff sailing around England at the time. But, um, you know, you, you had other universities near. You, had, you saw a lot more of other. It was so easy to move around the continent to conferences and whatever. You really were part of a, uh, you know, of a continental community. And then suddenly you come to New Zealand, and um, you know you're sitting there, and it's, there's nothing to do but write letters to people, um, especially if you're in computer science in, in the '70s, because um, I was the first person with a degree in computer science at Vic. There were some other te people teaching computing. Um, I think Canterbury had a few. Um, uh, Auckland had a few, definitely. Um, not sure who was at Waikato at that sort of time. You know, maybe if you'd been coming in marine science or something, where or geology, you know, it would have been different. But in computer science, it was really, it was really isolation. So, for me, it was just, it was just this idea that New Zealand can really be part of the world and participate, in that sort of way. And I think, I, I think that's proven to be true. I mean, I, I think, you know, I, I can't believe that um, Peter Jackson could have built Weta here um, without. Not necessarily the internet, but without the communications capability.